got huge plans to change financial services and it's something that we're passionate about at Verve and it's been building up over a number of years and we know there's a huge amount to be done. Um, but right now, the world is upside down and people are struggling and everybody's concerned about themselves, their family, their businesses, their future. So as much as we want to start to implement some change, we know it's very important to just take it one step at a time and kind of not overreach. Um, we thought about what we can do to, to kind of get the ball rolling. So the first thing um, that I thought might be an interesting idea is when we did our live event back in June, the last time I checked, there was about 1,300 people had actually watched that. And I realised that if every one of those people had um, or did choose to recommend financial services podcasts to people who don't normally listen to podcasts, and obviously we've got one at That Mint Podcast, there's other brilliant podcasts out there. Meaningful Money is a brilliant one by Pete Matthew. Um, it doesn't need to be a particular one, but actually if everybody who watched our last video got three people to start to listen to podcasts, that would immediately mean 5,000 people in the UK that are starting to embrace financial services a little bit. They're starting to educate themselves. They're just starting to break down those boundaries bit by bit. And I think it's really important that as an, um, an example of how it can be a small thing, but when there's a lot of us doing it, it can really have a big change. And um, so that would be my first challenge to you is if you haven't already, find some interesting podcasts. If you don't want them to be sweary, not that many podcasts. Um, but actually go and get three new people out there that don't listen to them right now and get them to engage and just start to think about finance and start to embed it in their life bit by bit. That is only a start, but I mentioned that the question that had come in is how do we introduce more people to financial services? And we've had a bit of a brainwave. We think we've got something a little bit exciting that can really start to make the impact. And in the same way, it's, you know, it's looking for a small thing, but from a lot of people. So we've put together a little video to tell you all about it. In financial services, there are often polarising opinions. But the one thing we've all agreed on for many years is the need to attract more people to the industry for them to choose it as a career. The well-documented advice cap is only going to get wider as the advisor population retires and we have a long way to go before people are actively choosing finance as their career path. If the industry shrinks, all of our businesses shrink. But right now, while the coronavirus is turning the world upside down, it's actually creating an opportunity and it is one that we in finance should make the most of. At this time, there are 900,000 people in hospitality alone who are still on furlough. It's expected that up to 4 million people are currently at risk of redundancy, which means we're going to have a nation of people looking for new roles. And this means we have the chance to start to attract them to the world of finance. We know many firms won't be thinking about hiring right now, but we also know that the current situation won't last forever. The world will start turning again, our businesses will thrive, and we need to start to build that pipeline of people to help us to grow. There's a saying which is the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, but the second best time is right now. So, what can we do? The Verve Group is launching an industry-wide not-for-profit initiative. The aim of it is to attract individuals to finance, to start their training and to build up a pool of people who are actively choosing financial services for their career. We will create the campaign, filter down the applicants and run the training courses for no fee. We'll use our existing Art of Finance framework to deliver both exam and practical skills training in a range of financial services careers. We'll target people who are either out of work having been made redundant or unhappy in their job and looking for a fresh start. Think of it as an open university course. They can study in their own time over one or two years to get the skills and qualifications to eventually move into jobs in finance. While we'll do everything that we can, there is a cost in getting individuals their diploma in financial planning. For each trainee to get their qualification, it costs the equivalent of £85 a month over two years. And this is where you can come in. If every advice firm, provider and asset manager sponsored just one place, this would be over 5,000 additional people in financial services. Just imagine the impact that that breath of fresh air could have. It won't be overnight, but this will be the diverse, innovative generation of entrants that will really help to push financial services forward and that will help us build into a great profession. And if that's not enough of an incentive for every trainee place your firm sponsors, when your business is ready to grow, you can access our database of trainees to recruit somebody suitable and there'll be no recruitment fees to you. When the world settles down, people are going to need financial advice more than ever. 
help us to make sure that there's a solid, robust profession here ready to help them. It's a difficult time right now for everyone, but we're not powerless. By coming together, we're able to do something, something big and protect all of our futures. We know it's a scary, scary time right now, but we don't think this is the time to be passive and wait and see what happens to financial services. It's actually the time for us all to pull together, to be proactive and to actually control the way and the direction that financial services takes. So we really hope that you'll support our initiative. You can go to www.weaverv.co.uk forward slash change and start to commit and pledge some of your support on there. You'll also see on there that even if all you've got to give right now is some time, and I appreciate this sounds like a charity video, I'm sorry, it isn't intended to be like that, but it absolutely is an initiative and it is about us pulling together. If all you've got right now is to give some time, we are going to work together in terms of creating internal focus groups and collaborating because it's wonderful to bring new people into financial services and I do think the children are our future. Um, but also we need to work together, we need to change. We know that there's a huge amount that needs to be different in financial services and that can only happen if we all pull together and we all agree the way that that should look. Um, one of the last polls on Slido was, um, do we think that people outside of financial services think of it as an industry or a profession and we all know we want it to be a profession and we're all working towards it but actually the polls say exactly what you would probably instinctively expect is that still around 68% were saying industry and um, so there is a lot of work to do but absolutely I think now's the time for us to unify for us to pull together and to start to make that change.